An emotional day in court for a promising dancer now paralyzed after a bus shelter at O'Hare collapsed on her. The city admitted fault and the jurors slapped Cook County with the largest verdict of its kind. Two investigator Dave Savini broke the story two years ago and has followed it ever since. Today he was in court when the verdict was read. With her dad and mom and legal team surrounding her, Tierney Darden, the one-time high school dancer, now in a wheelchair, heads to hear a record verdict in her case against the city of Chicago. A $148 million verdict after this O'Hare Airport shelter with rusted parts and missing or corroded bolts toppled on her, crushing her spine. This verdict is going to make a real difference for this sweet young lady. Every day it hits home. <laughs> Darden, who didn't speak today, sobbed when Judge Claire McWilliam read the landmark verdict. The Vernon Hills native gave her only interview about that tragic day to the CBS2 investigators last March. After we exposed how the shelter that crushed her was one of numerous other dilapidated shelters with screws and bolts missing, so unstable I could shake them. They were all removed, but not until after we revealed the problems. Do you think you'd be walking today and dancing today had someone maintain those shelters? They do. These nuts and bolts are everything to these shelters. Her attorneys Jeff Kroll, Patrick Salvi Sr. and Patrick Salvi Jr. say it is the largest verdict ever in Cook County history. It's really going to help her. Every juror hugged Darden as they left the courtroom. Juror Luis Hernandez said no amount was enough. Money does not matter because it's not going to bring her to her feet again. But I hate it. <laughs> I hate that I have to wake up every day and see it. Tierney Darden is expected to speak tomorrow with her family and attorneys by her side, not only about the verdict, but about the city's negligence and its failure to protect her. Dave Savini, CBS2 Investigators. Dave, thank you. And we're told a private insurance company is on the hook to pay that settlement.